If you're on an older version of Adobe Photoshop Elements or Adobe Premiere Elements, you're probably doing some really cool things with your photos and videos. But over the past several years, we've been adding a lot of really neat stuff that not only dramatically expands what you can do with those memories, we've made it easier than ever. I wanted to spend a little time today just giving you a quick tour of a few of the things that you can stop missing out on by upgrading to the very latest version. One of the most important things we've done along the way is completely overhaul the user interface of both Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. We've made things brighter, we've made things easier to read, we've made your photos and videos look better, and we've even completely rearranged the way the application itself works. If you're on any version prior to Elements 11, you're completely missing all of the work that's gone into the user interface of the applications and the ease of use that we've brought to life because of it. One of the really cool things that we did in Photoshop Elements 8 was add something called people recognition. And then over the years, we've been improving upon it. So now, not only can you very easily find all the people in your photos, but it's also easy to tag them with your Facebook friends list. As an example, if I want to find pictures of my daughter, I just drop into the people view, double click on the Alyssa stack, and it's going to show me every single picture in my catalog where it's found my daughter Alyssa. Whether she's 21 years old, or if I scroll all the way back in time, I can find her as a little baby. It's an amazing feature that we added in Elements 8 and continued to improve over time. Another thing that's new is the Places view. In the Places view, you can see a map of the world and see pins that show exactly where you were when you took all of your great photos and videos. In fact, you can even zoom into a particular spot, double click on the pin, and see exactly the shots that were taken at that location. And then there's the events view, where the photos and videos from the different events in your life are all neatly pulled together and easy to find. And now that it's so easy to find those great photos and videos, you're going to want to make them look their best. And that's where the elements editors come to life. One of the most interesting things we've recently done in the elements editors is created different editing modes designed for different skill levels. If you're just starting out in editing your photos and videos, well, that's what the quick edit mode is all about. It makes it really easy to get your photos looking great without having to know what you're doing. You can do some quick adjustments, or you can even just let the power of Photoshop Elements or Premiere Elements make those adjustments for you. Just click Auto, and your photo is going to instantly look better. With just a couple clicks of the mouse, you can take an ordinary photo and make it something special. When you're ready to learn a little bit more, that's what guided edits are for. We now have over 30 guided edits in Photoshop Elements that take you step by step through the process of creating some really interesting editing effects. As an example, it's just a couple clicks to create a zoom burst effect, so you no longer need to know the ins and outs of all the editing techniques. You can let the Elements products teach you how to get it done. And when you're ready to take the training wheels off, that's what Expert Mode's all about. A couple of my favorite new features in Expert Mode are two tools called the Spot Healing Brush and the Content Aware Move Tool. With the Spot Healing Brush, I can very quickly erase something from my photo. And with the Content Aware Move tool, I can move something anywhere in my photo that I want. Another one of my favorite new features is something that we call the Photo Merge Compose tool. Photo Merge Compose allows me to very easily take something out of one photo and compose it into another. And let's not forget about video editing. In addition to all the great photo tools we've added to Elements over the last few releases, we've done some fantastic stuff to make video editing really easy. As an example, there's a new way to trim your video called Favorite Moments. All you need to do is watch your video, click your mouse when something cool happens, and Premiere Elements will automatically strip out the bad stuff, keep the good stuff, and add a nice transition between each little clip. We've also got a great new feature called Video Story. Video Story makes it really easy to pull together those special moments and actually tell a really great story. You're no longer faced with an empty screen and trying to figure it out for yourself. Whether it's a birthday, a graduation, or anything in between, Video Story is going to make it really easy to get great results. And with all these great new features we've been adding over the last few releases, we know you might need a little help along the way. That's why we've added one of my favorite new features, and that's called Elements Live. Right here inside the Elements products is a view where we bring to life tips and tricks and tutorials to help you get the most out of your Elements products. 
Whether you want to be inspired or whether you want to learn some new techniques, it's all right here inside Elements Live. Just click in, find a tutorial you're interested in, and learn how to use some of those new features that you've been missing. It's always fresh, so you can get the most out of your Elements products. So don't miss out on all these great new tools. Make sure to upgrade to the latest version, Photoshop Elements 13 and Premiere Elements 13.